Hello, Buzz and Girls. Welcome back to another episode of the Oxygen Not Included, where last time it was a bit of a lengthy ex uh, episode because we wanted to get our hydrogen rocket um, ready uh, to lift off. It was a bit finicky figuring out the correct amount of uh, fluids that we need in here but with that we can reach the closest asteroids uh, that we have unfortunately the hydrogen burns a bit hot so uh, we take a bit damage uh, here on that side so i try to uh, uh, fix these things with uh, bunker tiles uh, with uh, steel uh, wiring where needed and uh, basically this happens when starting the rocket and when uh, it comes back so no use in fixing it while the rocket is on the way let's fix it at the end so I think we are ready for the next uh, launch and we have two uh, asteroids close by that basically supplies us all the space materials that we actually need so last time we went here so now uh, let's go to there launch the rocket and then inspect the damage that the launch did ADM. There we have, okay, I think Electrowire is okay. Here we broke the, the switch, which we only would need if we uh, need to uh, get that one going. How about the rail yep that still connects there and the uh, high pitch yep the two bridges broke but we can easily replace that at the end and the last project for this episode which does not mean it's the last episode yet because it's a bigger one it's our sour gas uh, boiler and instead of starting with the with the difficult part um, let's start at the uh, end with the array of generators that we will need for uh, producing or consuming all the natural gas we get out of the system uh, and as well um, uh, we built this up here because uh, uh, here we have a vacuum which is nice to have so we don't have to create it but the input is actually crude oil and we can find that here at the bottom yeah it's even further than we have an oil well here so we probably want to set this up as well so we can get that going and for that we need a bit of water and i think somewhere on this side there is a cool slush geyser um, that we can use for that purpose um, but as you have seen up here i'm digging out a bit more because for the, uh, the generator array we need an area that is uh, 45 blocks wide we're a bit more than this and 35 high 
which is basically up to there up to here so that includes that the pipe going over so i think uh, i will take that in in steps and start down below with the oil because uh, we want the oil to accumulate uh, during the time while we build all the uh, auto parts of that system our work down below is for the most part done uh, but as i needed a bit more power i had to get uh, this cable uh, out around here somewhere um, to pull it down all the way here we have two transformers then we also have a bit of uh, tube uh, going to get around faster then here we have our polluted water for which we need a liquid tepidizer down here to ensure it is warm enough so that it does not freeze in the pipe especially after the sieve uh, when we convert the polluted water to uh, normal water and then we go down here where we have the oil well um, which we can control um, by this sensor here and uh, here is one end and then i think the uh, the gas as well as the uh, the oil we will pull that over here and then go up there and here we have a second one so we can hook that up as well let the oil spill all the way down here and uh, yeah then we can actually start planning this out up here uh, where we probably have to collect a few more materials uh, clean up so we need to go quite a bit of a way over um, that should be enough and then here on that side we will go up and up and eventually uh, we will fill all this this in once i have then uh, to place some uh, drywall in the back uh, because we want to have a vacuum but we actually need the vacuum in a room so let's jump ahead do a bit more work down there um, and then uh, we can also do more work up there we started to work up here uh, and i spot a problem because we cannot have a drywall in the back and then this mesh tile in front of it and we need that because uh, the gas turbines they will basically uh, drop down or uh, pull out uh, polluted water that we want to collect here at the bottom layer so what we will need to do instead is basically sink this all down and if it's open to uh, to space uh, we eventually should still get a vacuum so that was the wrong button so we want to go
35 deep and 45 wide. Right, and then we will have to deal with this. Okay, currently, ah, yeah, one wider because uh, uh, we have to include the walls. And then on this side, we will have to figure out how to deal with, um, with this. So we have a chlorine gas went on here so probably maybe the rest will fit in here uh, but we have another thing going on there mm. uh, but I think for the for the rest of uh, of the construction which we will not cover uh, in, in in this part um, we actually do not need to to worry about uh, having uh, having it on uh, um, having it in uh, with with uh, drywall because we don't have this problem here. I think. I, I will have to check on that, but uh, largely should not be a problem. But this means we can actually have or still have uh, the solar panels up here that I did deconstruct um, in order to get there. So, I have to figure out a way how to properly uh, dig this out because that's just a, a, a massive uh, space. And probably um, we'll go bottom up. Maybe have uh, a tube going that direction um, we also can have a bit of a ladder here to shave off the, the top layers there do something like this we can clean this up and then do the next few layers and why are they scolding? Why? Because you go out here. Um, then don't repair that. If it breaks, we will reconstruct it with gold amalgam, which does not melt or break that easy. Down here you can see uh, made a bit more progress I figured out for this oil pump I also have to hook that up to that sensor otherwise the, the, the whole thing would not work and here we have um, this uh, neural, neural facilitator uh, that I already used on uh, two of my duplicates. I think it was uh, um, Pei and uh, Rowan with uh, overall good results. And now let's just do the same for Gossman and see what the results are. Minus 20% stress. Not that stress is an issue right now, uh, but you never know. 
All right, I think with the digging out, they are quite busy for quite a while. Um, and once they have dug out, we can once again uh, plan out um, the layout of of this thing. Once again, I have created a massive hole here and I'm not sure if it is large enough because initially I measured it from above here, but here on this side, uh, the vacuum goes a bit further down. So that's basically the, uh, the place where we have to measure down um, and I think uh, that is what I did. Should be 35 high. Yes. So maybe we need to go a bit deeper. But then there's also the question, is it wide enough? In theory, yes. But as you remember, this will be our block where we have the gas generators. So the natural gas comes in from this side, but then we have carbon dioxide, which goes out to this side. Uh, and uh, I plan to vent it into the vacuum. And for the number of generators, we need two gas pipes that we have to squeeze in here on this side. And then from down here, we also have a gas pipe uh, with uh, natural gas and uh, other things in there that we also went. So basically here on this side, uh, I need three pipes going up. And I think I can shave off one more tile here to get up to a vacuum uh, but then we need two more tiles which probably means um, shifting this whole thing over by two uh, but that is definitely something that we will only tackle in the next episode because uh, yeah, it's already that time again. And if we go down here, there you can see we already have uh, in a voluntary production of uh, of sour gas uh, with uh, with the the heat coming from below and uh, the the cool surrounding here in general and our crude oil uh, well or basin is well filled um, up to the limit where i am fearing that uh, uh, this access tube will get flooded and we have no easy way to get out anymore because this door is locked needs to stay locked otherwise our whole uh, oil will drain out of here and then up here uh, we have another um, transit tube uh, uh, switched off or separated by this door because down here we will generate natural gas and i do not necessarily want to spill uh, all that up here so that's it for this episode uh next episode i think we will deal with uh, building up this block here um see where we got so hope you enjoyed it and if you don't want to miss the next one um and are not yet subscribed please do so helps out a bunch. Until then, goodbye!